Today we're going to cover the nightmare scenario. When you go to look at Home Assistant and you can't. It might come up with an error, it might not display, it might say unable to connect to Home Assistant. Retrying in 45 seconds, 44 seconds, 43 seconds, etc. So let's roll the credits and let's find that Home Assistant. So you go to your home assistant um, and you see this and you hope when it counts down to zero that it'll find it but it doesn't so it's not working so there's a set of things that you should do to see kind of what's happening so the first one is I'm using an external address here I should be using an internal address just to check so I know my home assistant is on 192.168.1.155.8123 okay that 8123 is really important unless you're using kind of proxmox and as you can see it's thinking about it but if it had been there it would have found it by now I think any second now it's going to go, oh, I can't find this. Nope, it took too long to respond. So, I might have done something else first. I might have done something like this. www.onwartoys.co.uk So I've got access to the internet, so I know my computer's connected. If I'd got a server internally I could access, I'd try and access that. So I know my computer's working and it's got access to the internet. So um, it's not working in the browser. Now I'm lucky enough that I can remember what my IP address, what my local IP address is, because that's what we're going to need to know next. So. What I do next is go to a command prompt. Now, in both versions of Windows, you just go to your search bar and you type command. We're not doing anything that um, uh, needs administrative privileges, privileges or anything like that. Now, we're going to use ping. Uh, just the one ping, Antony. Give me a ping, Vasily. One ping only, please. Hi, Captain. I'm a lot more handsome than um, Sean Connery, but that's it. So, I know that it's 192.168.155. Right, so it sends a packet out and says to the, the machine, are you there? And if it's there, it will respond. Oh. Now it's worth pinging that. And it's also worth pinging uh, your um, external address if you've got one. Okay, so we've kind of pinged the addresses, we're not getting a response. The next thing to do is we really want to see the logon screen. But I imagine your home assistant server is buried back at the cupboard. You can't get a monitor to it. You're not connected, etc., etc. So let's do the, the basics first of all. So you want to check if you can. Now I've got a Dell server. Um, and is it on? Is there a light? And hopefully you'll be able to see the disk is flashing as well flashing disk okay so the server's on the next thing I'd probably do is as I've looked at it I'll try and look at the back I want to make sure that the network is flashing which 
in, in my example here it is. What I then do is trace that cable and look at the switch. Is that flashing? Yes it is. So I'm kind of certain that there's a signal going backwards and forwards here. So I'm now stuck. I need to see Home Assistant. You need to see this screen. Right, we're gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna go off on a complete tangent. If you've got a Proxmox server and you're not working on bare metal, you can, of course, go to Proxmox, find your server, and, oh look, it's not running. So I've clicked on console and it's not running. So I could click start, which I'll do now, and I'll watch it start up. So for some reason, it had stopped. Right, so with Proxmox, that's one thing you can do. If Proxmox was running, we kind of get back to the same place, which is coming up. Any second is coming up now. So you've got, you can see what's going on here. You can see it's got a, an IP address. It kind of thinks it's all there. Now, is it working? At this point, like I said, with Proxmox, you can get to the console and you can type things in. With um, a bare metal install, you need to plug it into your TV and you need a keyboard to kind of get there because we're gonna try and type some commands in here. Okay, so if you could find the cable, plug it in, make sure it's working. Well, right, so everybody that doesn't know their IP address is going, I can't remember what my IP address is. How, how do I find it? How do I ping it and what do I do? I would recommend Advanced IP Scanner. Now you can get that from uh, www-advancedip.scanner.com. I'll put a link in the description because it's freeware. It's very good freeware. Um, and what you can do, like I've done a scan of 192.168.1.0 to 254. So these are all my IP addresses, all the ones I'm using. You can do um, extra things in here. So you can show what ports are available. You can make it disappear. You can, it does actually remember what you've um, scanned in the past. So what you can do is somewhere in here is the way of, oh, it's in view. So you can show dead um, IP addresses. So it knows in the past, on 33, there was martinlamp.lam. It's not there when it scanned it now, but it has been in the past. And that's because the plug is just here. Um, somebody may have spilt tea all over it and it doesn't work anymore. But it didn't electrocute me and there wasn't an explosion, which is kind of good from the way things go lately. So I've got all these um, things on my network. Now, one of them should be called a home assistant. There we go. There's the 155 one, the one I've been talking to, and I've called it home assistant too. Um, that's the name you give it when you first set up. So I've got multiple home assistants on here. And I've got all the other things that are connected, but that's given me a big clue on where to find it. So that's Advanced IP Scanner. Definitely recommend that. Link in the description. So we've done the ping. We've kind of got there. Um, we've now got to the console. So the console is a little bit scary. <laughs> I'll admit that. It's a black and white screen. So you can do things like, you have to click on it if you're using Proxmox. Okay, and that's given me my um, kind of basic information. So I could see what its IP address is. So if you've got your monitor connected up all the time, you can go and see that. So you can do lots of things now. The thing you should always do with computers when they don't work properly is... Hello IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? 
Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Hello, IT. Yeah, have you tried turning it off and on again? Hello, IT. <laughs> Something's wrong with my computer. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh dear, thanks. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> have you tried sticking it up? Key clip. What you can do with hot box marks is go host. And I can't remember what command is, so I'll type host help. So I want to uh, switch it off and switch it on again, so I'm going to reboot. So if you type in host reboot, and it should reboot. Quick fast forward. Okay, so we're up and going again. So hopefully, if I go here and I do a refresh, now this is the thing about Home Assistant, is it, it's ready, but it's not quite ready. need to leave it a minute or two after it says it started. I could go to the other one. Yeah, still not quite there. There we go. So that was a minute to a minute and a half. I've got Home Assistant back now. Right, let's just talk about other things that can happen here. Sometimes you get to this screen and you get errors. And you'll get weird and wonderful errors. Disk is not working. Can't do this, can't do that. Now you kind of got a choice. Um, I think the first thing to do would be to Google those errors and see what's there or ask on the forum or ask on Facebook because some of the things are complicated and you need IT knowledge to do it. It doesn't happen very often, um, but it does happen. But I've covered the basics of trying to get things back. Sometimes it will just crash. Um, again, it's very rare, but it's normally to do with you've unplugged a cable, you've accidentally switched stuff off, there's been a power spike and it's kind of broken what's there. So what I've showed today is the basics of troubleshooting to see what's wrong. It might be nothing and hopefully it is. Right, okay, if you, um, if you could like and subscribe this video that would, be, that would be great and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, unless you want to watch that video there.